My name is Alexandre Fenton. I'm working at the LIS laboratory at the University of Namur in Belgium. I'm still a PhD student, but I'm really finishing my thesis. Actually, in a few days, I will have finished to write it. I can show you uh, what it looks like at the moment. So, this is uh, my thesis. Uh, as you can read it, uh, the title is Electronic and Structural Properties of Plasma Functionalized and Metal Decorated Carbon Nanotubes. So, inside this more or less 130 pages, uh, there are four years of work uh, on carbon nanotubes. So I'm planning to give the manuscript to the member of the jury next week. And in Belgium, we have uh, first a pre-defense that will be around end of March. And then there is the public defense that will be on the 4th of May. So hopefully I will have my PhD in physics in May. Okay, now I will explain a little bit what I will do in the Nano 2 hybrid project and show the different techniques that we have here in the lab. So first, I have to say that contrary to Zeila and Jean-Christophe, I'm not doing any calculation. So I'm not a theoretician, but an experimentalist. And as an experimentalist, I will be involved in different kinds of things. The first one will be the fabrication of the nanocomposites. Uh, for this, I will use plasma treatments and metal evaporation. And then I will also have to characterize the samples with different techniques, such as uh, photo emission spectroscopy, transmission electron microscopy, and so on. And with this kind of techniques, I will be able to learn uh, a lot of uh, things on these nanocomposites. For example, I'll, I will have to learn what, for example, what type of interaction there is between the gold clusters and a carbon nanotubes, or between a titanium clusters and the carbon nanotubes, and with a lot of different kinds of metals. I will also have to learn what is the effect of the plasma treatment on the, the nanotubes and so on. So now I will show you a small movie uh, of the different equipment that we have in the lab, and I will explain them a little bit. This is a movie of the experimental floor in the lab. As you can see, there are a lot of different equipments, and these equipments are mainly devoted to plasma treatments and to surface characterization of materials. This is my plasma chamber. You can see that there is a plasma lightning inside the chamber, and this color is characteristic of an oxygen plasma. The principle of plasma treatment is very simple. First, you introduce your sample in the chamber. For example, in our case, it is carbon nanotubes. Then you pump down the chamber under high vacuum. And after sufficient pumping, you can introduce a gas to control pressure. Then you give energy to this gas by applying an electric field. And this will create what we call a low pressure plasma. Inside such plasma, there are very reactive spaces that can react with the surface of the carbon nanotubes. And this is a very important point in the project since by modifying the surface properties of the carbon nanotubes, the interaction with metal nanoparticles will be different than the interaction with the non-treated carbon nanotubes. This is another equipment that we have in the lab. It is called X-ray photoemission spectrometer. And I will explain uh, a little bit how it works. In this equipment, X-rays are focused onto the sample, and under X-ray irradiation, the sample will emit electrons. These electrons are collected in an analyzer that will measure the kinetic energy. And with this kinetic energy, we are able to calculate the binding energy of the electrons, and this binding energy will give us information about the composition of the samples. Using this technique, we can detect, for example, unknown elements, we can also see how atoms are bonded to other atoms. For example, we can difference, differentiate between carbon bonded to another carbon or a carbon bonded to an oxygen. And in the project, I will use this technique to understand the type of interaction there is between a metal nanoparticle and the carbon nanotube. 